15 years since being brutally murdered in Isiolo, the legacy and fond memories of the late Bishop Luigi Lucati are alive at the main Catholic parish in the Diocese of Isiolo, as the perpetrators, who include a Catholic priest, are serving death sentences for the assassination of the Italian priest. The local congregation is striving to honor the fallen martyr by upholding his teachings, as well as serving the community by sustaining projects he pioneered. NTV's Seth Olale visited the murder scene and the final resting place of the fallen father here in Isiolo. Here in Isiolo. handful of Catholic congregants attending Sunday Mass at St. Eusebius Cathedral. Adhering to the rules of the extraordinary times, the church has gone through extraordinary times of its own. Next to the main entrance lie the remains of its founder, Bishop Luigi Lucati, who was killed 15 years ago in this church compound. Father Luigi Locati had just had his supper and was heading to his official residence on this particular direction when an assassin's bullet on the fateful day fell him right here where I'm standing. According to the first respondents at the scene of crime, the single gunshot was heard between 6.45 and 7 p.m. and the culprits who had hidden the hired gun in a charcoal sack sped off immediately. This police was, was very, very fear, fear. So, sikuwa najua ni taanza wapi na ni tafanya nini. Lakini pole pole, with help of God, nilitulia. Na pole pole ni kaanza kupereka mapandiri, kufanya seminars mbali. Another Catholic priest, Guyo Wako Male, who had openly expressed displeasure with Lukati, alongside four accomplices, were found guilty of the bishop's murder and was sentenced to death. Father Alimua Pandai, the Ligari Divanya Yuhudu, Akamushika, and Munjawao, and unfortunately was a Catholic priest. Seven months after the assassination, Bishop Anthony Mkobo, who was then deputizing a Bishop Ndingi Monanzeki at the Holy Family Basilica, received a life changing call. Wakati Niriampiwa, na, na the nuncio. Nuncio is the representative of the Pope. Ni kama ambassador wa Papa Mutakatifu katika inji yetu Kenya. Hmm? Akaniambia ni wewe Papa Mutakatifu au Pope amekuchagua uende ukafanye kazi hizi huru. Niri shituka. Nikaanza kujiuliza why me? Why not any other bishop? Sasa ni mimi nimeonoa niende huko sasa. Nanipeleka huko ni wawe au ni nini hii nimepangiwa hapa. Lakini nikasema why should I wish Somebody else to go where I don't know to go. Bishop and Kaomba, Mungu Kanyambia, no problem. Since his installation as a father in 1995, the late Lukati established Isiolo's St. Eusebius Cathedral as a mission with a nursery, which after his death was named after him. He had also set up various learning institutions, diocesan offices, a dispensary, a radio station, and pastoral center. Fifteen years later, Lukati's followers seem to have finally come to terms with the untimely loss of their profound leader. They are now left with honoring his legacy by adhering to his teachings that included messages of forgiveness and love. The late Lukati, who was killed and buried in the same compound, was born and died in the same month, July. Seth Olale, NTV.